Hello YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to Bitcoin use your graphics card. Now to do this we will require a piece of software called GUI Miner. Uh, the link for this is in the description so if you just have a look under the video you should be able to see where to download this. Once it's downloaded it will ask you to extract it. You can extract it wherever you need, I just selected my desktop for ease. Um, once you've done that you just need to open up this folder and there's a piece of software here called GUIMiner.exe. If you're on Windows Vista 7 or Windows 8, right click on this and run as administrator. You'll get this screen up here if you just click yes on there. You'll see it has opened up. Now, you will have to sign up for a pool unless you want to mine solo, which I really wouldn't recommend. I was mining for about seven months on a graphics card and I didn't get a single Bitcoin doing that. So your best bet is use a pool. I've used Deepbit from day one so I would recommend them, however Slush's pool is also pretty good. Um, the link for Deepbit will also be in the description but it's just deepbit.net So you sign up on here, you set a worker up and then you just put the email address for the worker, the password in, make sure you have Deepbit selected. As for the flags, you can get these off the forum for my card which is a 6970 I was recommended to use W256 on 5 series cards it's best to use W128 once this is all configured you've basically just got to click start mining straight away and see I'm in about 350 mega hash per second I do usually get a lot more than this but the screen recorder seems to use quite a few of them um, you should be able to Bitcoin pretty quickly if you've got a high-end 6 series or 7 series card or even some of the older 5 series cards. Um, average about 1 Bitcoin a week. I mean, a bit, they're not worth a great deal of money. You won't really make any money out of it by the time your electricity bill's on the top of it. But you never know what's going to happen. One day Bitcoins could be worth £1,000, £2,000 each. So as far as I'm concerned, it's still worth doing. I mean, this is a spare computer doesn't really do too much so it might as well run this. Um, that's everything. If you've got any questions or if you kind of get it set up properly just send me a message or leave a comment um, and please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching.